Greetings everyone, I'm Ricardo from TG Service, and today we'll guide you through the proper installation and configuration of TimeApp on your server. We will walk you through the process for a plugin-based server such as Paper, and afterward we will drive into setting up for Forge or Fabric server. If you are currently running a vanilla server, simply go to the server type dropdown and select Paper with the same version you are currently using. For instance, if you are on vanilla 194, switch it to Paper 194 to keep your world intact, so make sure to use the same version. Start the server which will generate the plugins folder for installing the plugin. Once you are on Paper, stop the server and click on Installers, followed by Plugin Auto Setups. There, choose Dimap and click Run Auto Setup. You can also monitor the console for the setup progress and to find the IP to use. Copy it from the console and then restart the server. Now, with your server up and running, enter the command Dimap full render in the console, followed by the word name. To identify the word name, open our multi-graphic panel and check it under the world section. You can also use Dimap Radios Render to specify the radios you want to render. For additional useful comments, visit the official Dimap page link in the description. Paste the link you copied in your browser on a new tab for easy access. Alternatively, you can notalize our tools tab and select My Dimap. That will send you directly to our newly set up Dimap. Finally, let's explore how to set up and configure Dimap for Forge and Fabric. Begin by stopping the server, downloading the mod, and installing it via FileZilla. Once the upload is complete, return to your main page and start the server. After the server is fully started up, stop it again and proceed to add advanced, and then click on additional ports. Click add port and copy the generated port. Next, navigate back and select files followed by FTP file access. Type your credentials and login. Inside the diamond folder, right click on the configuration.txt file and choose edit. Scroll down until you find the web server port set and paste the port that you just copied. Save and close the file. You can now start the server and run the rendering command that we demonstrated earlier in the video. And that's it! You have now learned how to install and set up time app on your server. If you find this video helpful, please consider giving a like and subscribing to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day!